The increase is not a deliberate move by the council, says Kevin Singh, councillor responsible for the market and security portfolio. Instead, it is the result of pressures from the proprietor of the pound yard, Arun Hachandani, after the council requested an extension of about six months for their contract that expired in February. He says Hachandani is requesting more money this time. Those figures for six months, he wants $105,487 monthly, I mean for six months, which will bring us over 17000 a month. That would be... He wants six for, for, for six months, six thousand a month. The collection from the buses and a writer for 2010-11 and 2011-12, which is twenty-five thousand seven hundred and sixty dollars, for three thousand seven hundred and twenty-seven dollars for the year 2011 to 2012, and those figures bring you up to the hundred and five thousand dollars. In, in write-off and in payment. As is, Singh says Hachandani is collecting 30% of what the market makes, or about $4,500 monthly. His new demands are now placing the council under pressure, although Singh says they have not agreed to anything. The council hasn't agreed to anything. We have put forward a, we had a subcommittee that deals with the financial affairs for the, for the, to the council. And we sat down in that meeting and we decided that we couldn't give around more than 10000 a month. So that went back to him. When we were in Caracas meeting last week Thursday, the mayor came back and said she met with Mr. Aaron and he doesn't want to hear that. He wants what he wants. So we decided to have a meeting last night to let the vendors know that Mr. Aaron wants what he wants and if he doesn't get what he wants he is going to put them out of the pong yard and in it, able to get what he wants we would have to charge the vendors five dollars more which will put them back to ten dollars per day even though it may seem a mere five dollars the vendors about 70 of them are finding it unreasonable regardless of the council's reasons they further add that they should not be paying a dollar more for spaces that are in deplorable conditions. It's very unfair, um, considering the fact that they have given the people permission to use certain little area for maybe $125 uh, per month per person, and they have not given them any building. You know, I came here about three months ago, and from since I came here, this was the building that was here, All right? And we had to... Uh, fix up our own little area in order to uh, keep our stuff from perishing and so forth. Para mi ver, esto es un desorden. City Council, así como quiere subir el impuesto. The way I see it, this is a mess. City Council, the way they want to raise the rent for those at the market, we who sell here, I say it is unfair by raising the rent for the poor. They should remember that we are poor people who have children in school and that we do not have enough money or the means to maintain our homes and our children. They should be considerate because you can't force someone to pay more than they make for the day. We do not have good profits. The business is low. The people are not in agreement to paying more than we are paying because five dollars for example, five dollars. If you have not sold that, you need to pay a lot here. Rent, for example, and you need to find that five dollars. If you do not have for your food, where will you get that five dollars? If you do not use it for your food, what will you do? Stay hungry? You can't, right? Because there are children who need to eat. You understand? We cannot pay more than what we are already paying. I am a single mother. I have five children and I have to maintain them. I have to pay rent, food and school fees. And we don't got no money. We can't afford this. We sometimes we don't sell nothing in this that we leave. Leave it at things that we sell for the day and they want to charge a big amount, we can't afford this. The people are also frustrated at the way the meeting was held, saying that all vendors could have attended due to the time it was called. And we are hoping that they would come to us because if they want the raise and they want etc., they need to come here and see what we are doing already and the amount that we are paying is not even fair for the infrastructure and the things that they have provided us. So how would they want more if they're not giving anything to us? At least today was adequate for a meeting, a Wednesday when there is not much business, not much sale. I think they should repeat the meeting and do it in the day. Make everybody go there and go here where they happen. And while the vendors are hoping the council answers, Singh says they are trying to find a solution. But while relocation from the pound yard would easily solve the problem, Singh says it is not that easy. 
we have tried to relocate them but it would be a mess all over again because these people will start to complain they have to move their structure again they have to get water again they have to put in light all over again it was a mess when we had to move them because they had to do all these things over again so we are trying not to create that problem for them so we are asking them to just pay the five dollars more and it will still be a loss to the city council because it won't take us up to what around what we will still have to carry out with the rest the remaining among that around one. And right now the city council is working at the last at that property. Because for the for the month we pay in allowance and maintenance and different things over seventeen thousand a month for the Pongyard market. The second phase of the Michael Finnegan market was to have been completed by February, but SIF had to relocate the money. Singh says the paperwork is already underway for finances for the project to start by the end of this month, and the contractor has assured its completion in three to four months' time. Reporting for Love News, I am Dalila Ikal.